Good morning. Welcome to Holy Trinity. I'm Reverend Becky, uh, and we are gathered here to celebrate the life of Nora Unruh. We're going to begin our service on page two of the bulletin. I am resurrection and I am life, says the Lord. Whoever has faith in me shall have life, even though he die. And everyone who has life and has committed himself to me in faith shall not die forever. As for me, I know that my Redeemer lives and that at the last he will stand upon the earth. After my waking, he will raise me up, and in my body I shall see God. I myself shall see, and my eyes behold him, who is my friend and not a stranger. The Lord be with you, and, and also with you. with you. Let us pray. O God of grace and glory, we remember before you this day our sister Nora. We thank you for giving her to us, her family and friends to know and to love as a companion on our earthly pilgrimage. In your boundless compassion, console us who mourn. Give us faith to see in death the gate of eternal life, so that in quiet confidence we may continue our course on earth until by your call we are reunited with those who have gone before through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Saying together, Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He revives my soul and guides me along right pathways for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup is running over. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Give rest, O Christ, to your servant with your saints, where sorrow and pain are no more neither sighing, but life everlasting. You only are immortal, the creator and maker of mankind. And we are mortal, formed of the earth, and to earth we shall return. For so did you ordain when you created me, saying, You are dust, and to dust you shall return. All of us go down to the dust, yet even at the grave we make our song. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Give, Give rest, O Christ, to your servant with your saints, where sorrow and pain are no more, neither sighing, but life everlasting. Into your hands, O merciful Savior, we commend your servant Nora. Acknowledge, we humbly beseech you, a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming. Receive her into the arms of your mercy, and to the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of the saints in light. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies and giver of comfort, deal graciously, we pray, with all who mourn, that casting all their cares on you, they may know the consolation of your love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Everyone the Father gives to me will come to me. I will never turn away anyone who believes in me. He who raised Jesus Christ from the dead will also give new life to our mortal bodies through his indwelling spirit. My heart therefore is glad and my spirit rejoices. My body also shall rest in hope. You will show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy and in your right hand our pleasures forevermore. Ensure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through all our Lord Jesus Christ. We commend to Almighty God our sister Nora and we commit her body to the ground.
earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The Lord bless her and keep her. The Lord make his face to shine upon her and be gracious to her. The Lord lift up his countenance upon her and give her peace. Amen. Amen. Would anybody like to put a shovel? Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Rest eternal grant to her, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon her. May her soul and the souls of all the departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 